It's been emotional for sure. It is 4.20 in the morning. We both slept all right on the bus. We decided that it's best to go to Auschwitz um, today because otherwise we would have had to wake up tomorrow again at like this time of day. All right, well that worked out well. We thought we were gonna take the train. The train didn't leave until 10 and then this bus left in like 10 minutes. So we got the bus, so that was good. Time for some more sleep. <laughs> we thought the bus was going to be like two hours, but it was only an hour. And they only have so many slots per hour, and so we're glad that we got here early. It's an individual visitor. You can come and visit the place for free, and they do offer guided tours um, for about $13 a person, which is not bad, but it was going to be three hours that we'd have to wait for the next available one that was in English. So we decided to just go on our own. It's very solemn. Very solemn. This looks like the old railway line. So this museum offers a lot of information, too much to even read. Um, but if you don't have time for a guided tour, honestly you'll probably end up spending more time reading everything. Um, but if you want to go at your own pace, this is this is really good. There's lots of um, lots of really helpful information. This wall documents just how hard the Polish were fighting in all directions. They were fighting in France, in Italy, um, Belgium, Netherlands, against the Germans um, at that time. Polish people definitely have a fighting spirit. It was one of the most horrifying room yet we've been in. It was women's hair. And they sold the women's hair to Germans at a discounted rate and they used it in their textiles and these were women that were gassed and so they found traces of the gas in the hair. I almost fell into it. This is terrible. maiden names um, as well as the name Hoppy. So there are over 16,000 pages of, and over 200,000 names. Number 27 block is where we found the book of names um, and that's just really fascinating because there's so many names and so you're bound to find someone that's like related to you. The uh, tour guide after us had said to, there was a group of students there and he said look for your last name He's like, my last name is in here, and my family it, um, isn't Jewish, but their last name is in here. Online, they recommended um, three hours to visit. Um, we, we've now been here almost four. There's just a lot to see and a lot to read, and we, we could have spent twice that. Uh, we haven't even gone to the other camp yet that's bigger than this one. This is Auschwitz 1, and then there's also Auschwitz 2 but that one's like five times larger than this one. When you come to Auschwitz, cool. I would recommend to get here as early as you can. It opens at 7.30 and they let visitors in at that point um, that are just wanting to walk by themselves out a guided tour, um, but the guided tours pick up around 10 and it gets quite, quite busy. A free shuttle to the second part of Auschwitz.
Someone might be burning something um, close by that we can't see, but both of us smelled it. And that was the place where they had burned the bodies. It's probably not, but it's just like when you're looking at that and then smelling that, it just makes it more real. The second one is much larger space than the one we were in the first one. It's not as well preserved as the other one, but there's still a lot of history um, here, and we would definitely recommend to come to the second one. You won't, you won't spend nearly as long on the second one as you would at the first. I just talked to you and jumped a puddle. Here we are back in Krakow. Daisy. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right, so we both got showers, feeling nice and refreshed. This is like seriously a really nice hostel. Um, have a shared kitchen space and then a place tomorrow where we can like get some work done before our bus leaves so it's I'm like super glad we're here and guess what it's actually cheaper than the place we were two nights ago that was like so gross it's so, so funny this is actually cheaper loved everything here at this hostel the only thing that's not so awesome is how slow this boils We've been waiting for probably 20 minutes for it to boil. I even then went to this to get the hot boiling water, poured it into there, and like I see like one bubble, like it's hot, but it's not boiling. Peter figured out the problem. There's two burners inside of one, and I only have the, I only have the smaller one on. So. It was an inner yeah. and an hour. Yeah, so I thought I turned both on, but. I, yeah, I did some hot dogs, cheese, and then I got this sauce. It's gonna make kind of like a little like soup out of it. We'll see how it tastes. Mm -hmm. 